Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing the collab video with Bitter Sparkle Nail Designs. Um, her name's Vicky. We exchanged some nail products with each other and we're designing a set with the gifts that we, we were given. Right, I'm going to do a purple and a green set of nails just because of the well like a bluey green just because of the colours that um Vicky sent me the glitters so I have put them in tubs and this is the the purple crush one that she sent me so I'll just show you again I have put it in the tub just to make it easier so I'll leave the lid off that because I'm going to be using it No, I don't normally do like nail videos like this, so this one's Ice Blast and it's absolutely stunning. So this is going to be a first for me. I don't have much um, storage space on my phone, so I might have to pause it and jump a few bits. And these were the gems that I put in the tub that she sent me, which are absolutely gorgeous. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to be using those yet. It just depends on how much glitter I manage to get on these um, nails. I'm also going to be using Unicorn Tears, Tiffany Tail, Prince Crush and Lavender Crush from Glitter Bells. If you follow me, you'll know that I do have the Glitter Bell system. So I'm just going to basically get cracking onto these nails. So now it's deciding what I was going to do. And so I'm trying to get like the angle good for like what you can see that I'm doing. Right, like I said, I don't normally do these type of videos, but I suppose there's always a first time for everything. Now I'm wanting to do like an ombre on the thumb, but I don't know whether to do a glitter ombre. Mm. I think I'm just going to do the Tiffany tail and the unicorn teeth for now so i'm just going to go straight into it i'm just doing these on my flexi hand so you can see like the tips don't actually fit like properly on this you see like the gap here, so I didn't want to be messing about filing. I absolutely love the glitters that she sent me. Well, I love everything. And I've got my bracelet on as well, so... I thought I have to get that in. This is a gorgeous green. The colours that I'm using, I haven't actually used before. So these are all new products. I think I have used the crushes before, but I'm not sure if I've actually used these ones. Now, I'm going to see if I can do an ombre on this. In fact... I'm going to leave that one. I did have the purple on there, but I want to leave that to dry a little bit because I think it would ombre better if I let it dry a little touch. So, now this is why I always, usually end up digging into that. So, do you know what? I'm going to jump straight to this just so I don't knock that finger and I'll go back to it. So, this one on this finger, I'm going to do... Right, what did I decide I was going to do? Right, this one was going to be ombre as well, but it was going to be the opposite of the thumb. So I'm going to put the purple on, on the bottom. Do 
If anyone's interested in the what brush I'm using, I'm using the Glitter Planet and it's the size, I think the size 10 Aqua Brush. So I haven't used these colours before, I've only recently just been getting them because ever since I've been doing Glitter Bells I've been trying to get my hands on them and I just couldn't. So because this one's dried I'm going to go back into it. And I'm still like sort of learning the ratios of the glitter bells because it's, uh, I don't, I haven't been doing nails enough like recently as I should. But I think taking me out of my comfort zone and doing these on camera is really like a good idea for me really. I do have a couple of clients that I usually do. But they don't really go like for these colours. Like I say, I'm not I'm not perfect at um ombres, but I'm sure once it all comes together it'll look fine. Right, I only really want it on the tip. So I'm only just starting like to learn how to do ombres and marbling, so this isn't going to be perfect. I was going to do my own nails, but um, I've took my tips off, sorry, my nails off, and they're not in the best of the nick at the minute, so I thought, right, I'm just going to use my flexi hand and just give my nails a break for a little bit. Right, so I'm going to go back into this one with Tiffany Tail. Like there, I'm not brilliant at marbling, so I thought I'll give it a go. Pause, we all like, like I say, have to learn somewhere, don't we? Right. And I've got to realise I've only got like so long on my phone to do it because like I say, my storage pay, space 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 on my phone isn't brilliant. So if I find I'm going over like my ombre, it's because I'm not used to doing them. But like I said, I thought I would just take myself out of my comfort zone and Give it a try. Right, so that's all I'm going to do for the ombres for now. And I'm just trying to remember what I was going to do on these fingers. So obviously this is the thumb. Right, on this one, I was going to do... So I'm trying to do the glitter bells. That one's first because obviously I know just in case I get any glitter on my monomer. Right, so this one I was going to use. So I'm hoping these colours are going to go because I tried, I thought, oh, I've seen a nice big purple and green set and I thought oh, I'm going to use Vicky's glitters and I forgot to get my clear out. So I'm going to get my clear out as well because obviously I need that for the glitters so I'm going to do this 
uh, with me. I'm going to get some of Vicky's purple one. And I like the fact, oh god, that's a bit more monomer on there. This has got some fine bits and some chunky bits in it. Which is really, really pretty. Oh, look how shiny that is. Vicky, these are absolutely gorgeous. And they're so easy to work with. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous they are. I'm just moving some of the chunks about. How nice of them. Right, I just want a little bit. Of the finer on the edge. And then I'm going to use some of the Ice Blast one. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of my clear, some Ice Blast. Oh yeah, look how nice these are. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to use a bit of Purple Crush from Glitter Bells. And then I'm going to use some of the Fairy Crush from Glitter Bells. I mean, look how shiny that is. I hope when I get filed and top coat and everything on, you're going to be able to see that much better. That is gorgeous. Right, on this one, I'm going to do some of the Tiffany Tail. I think I made that be just a little bit wet. A little bit too wet. Like I said, it's just getting used to the ratios because I did used to use a different system before I got glitter bells. But this is really nice. I'm not used to do it on my flexi hand. I haven't done it on my flexi hand in a long time. I normally um, do my own nails. So it has been a while. It's been a long time actually, I think. All right. I'm not bothered about that being so neat because I'm going to be coming in with some glitter. And this is the purple crush. There was a there was a 
a name before the paper crush with an S and I forgot to type it out and I've just literally put S paper crusher on the tub so I'll have to have another look make sure I haven't threw the bag away And I'm going to use some of the is it unicorn tears. And then I'm going to use some of the ice blast again, just on the tip. I'll probably put too much on. So that's all I'm going to do with that one. And I think on this one, I'm just going to do, I think we'll do some Prince Flake on the bottom. So you only really want a wash of that. And then I'm going to put, that's that lavender crush. So the Pepper Glitters Lavender Crush from Glitter Bells. And the other one's Prince Crush. I think I've been saying flake. So I'm going to put them on. And then I'm going to get a tiny bit of. The ice blast from Vicky. Oh god, this is absolutely stunning. Over the top. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the purple crush off Vicky. Mainly the chunky bit, just to go. Into there. And then. Right, now I've done those, I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to cap them in clear and then I'm going to file them and then we'll put the gems on. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back in a minute. Hi everyone, right, I've just gave them um, a, a quick file. I'm not bothered about the apex on them because obviously they're on my flexi hand and I've just gone through some of the gems that um, Vicky had sent me. And I don't really want to waste them. So I have picked out a few. And these are the ones that I've sent for key. So I'm going to be using two out of these as well. So I'm going to get a large green one. And I want a large purple one out of this box. Right. So that away. Right, and basically I'm just gonna glue these on. So I'm going to put a purple oh just like that. Put my gloves on because I did forget to put my gloves back on. So two sec, just bear with me a minute. Right, I'm not going to top coat it yet because I like to top coat it once I've put my gems on. So, I'm just going to give, and when I do my practice hand, I just use like any glue. So, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on here. Just and I'm going to pop, oh, I've just knocked my tissue. So, I've got them all over now. Right, before this glue dries. And it's a nightmare. When you've got gloves on. You know what, I'm going to take it off because I can handle it better. Right. 
I'm going to put a purple one on this one. Like I said, I would have probably used some different, like some of my really like more expensive gems as well. But with it only being my flexi hand, I don't really want to waste them. So I'm just going to put a purple one on this one. And like I said, if this was my own hand, then like I would put more, more on. And for this one, I'm going to put like the opposite. on and two silver ones I've just dotted them on here like that hope they're straight so basically I've just done the opposite so whatever colour was on the end here I've put there and then the same again there right so I'm just going to pop these back into this little tub that I put the ones in from Vicky. Like, I, I did really want to do my own nails in these. But like I said, I don't want to waste them. So I've just put them in a little pot. And I've just put the glitters, like I said. And the pots as well. That's the heart. I didn't use the heart today. I am going to do some of the one stroke painting. But obviously once I get the hang of doing it because I haven't done it before. So I'm just trying to clear my table a touch. So I can top coat. It's not top coat, these nails. I'm just going to move everything out of the way. I can't find the lid for my glue, so that's dropped somewhere. So I'll just move out of the way for now. Right, I'm going to use the Emily Top Coat. Now, I did win this in one of um, Vicky's giveaways, believe it or not. And I haven't used, had the chance to use it yet, so I thought, well, how appropriate. So I'm going to use some of this No White Top Coat. On these nails and then I'm just gonna pop it under the lamp so if this was my real hand I would use like a fine detailer brush to go around the top And I don't go over the gems because I think it dulls them. Now look at this. Oh, look at that. I will take them off the flexi hand so you can see them much better. But like I say, if this was on my hand, I would get a fine detailer brush and I would go around those. But these colours, I'm hoping you can see this, my hands are in the way. These colours together are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to start doing some more nails on my flexi hand, some more designs. Because it's been far too long. Like I said, I only ever do my own. And I've never videoed myself doing a set of nails. So this is also a first for me as well so i'm just gonna pause the video put them in the lamp and then i'll get back and show you them in more detail right guys i'm back i'm just putting the camera straight right so basically you have to shoot some of that top coat and that's the set that i've done using the how shiny using some of glitter sparkle nail design glitters and some Annabelle's but look look how shiny I'm just gonna 
We've got the focus. But look, look at the sparkle in them. I'm hoping you can see it in this light. Look at that. Oh, they're gorgeous. Now, they look gorgeous, like, on a set of real fingers. Like I said, I'm not bothered about the apex or anything like that. It was basically to show a design with the colours and some of the items that I've got. So, hopefully, some practice with the paints and... I'll be able to do some one stroke. Also, I really did like the decals that were sent to me, the 3D stickers, especially the Louis Vuitton ones and the Paris um, 3D alloys. And I didn't want to waste them on a flexi hand, so I will be doing some more sets on my own hands using what she sent me. So this is just a quick design just to show some of the glitters. And I thought the purple and green would go absolutely gorgeous. So I'll leave um, the links in the description for the glitters with Vicky. And I'll leave a link where you can buy the glitter bells. But the gems, the silver ones, those are the ones that Vicky, I don't know where she got them from. There was some purple and green ones in that set, which I didn't want to waste. So I've used some of mine and mine were just off eBay. So guys, if um, you like this video and don't forget this is a collaboration with the Sparkle Nail Design. So I'd appreciate it if you can go over on her channel and give her a like and subscribe and follow. And we'll see what design she's going to knock up using the products that I've sent her as well. So guys, thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.